Well, may I say, first of all, really, that we're delighted that you are coming to Britain, and uh, we very much approve of the government's uh, invitation to you, and we look forward to having talks with you ourselves. You and I have been spending uh, an interesting weekend in Sweden, and um, I wonder what you feel about the talks we had with the Swedish Prime Minister and his colleagues. I think uh, it was a wonderful experience not to participate one of these conferences one goes to from time to time, but to have a private talk between uh, responsible political leaders, in this case including mm. the Prime Ministers of the three Scandinavian countries, and we didn't, I think, make any decisions, but um, it was a good contribution to uh, the uh, analysis of, uh, of the situation. So I think it was a useful mm. thing. I think there was a, a wide measure of agreement, really, yes. at the same time. Tell me, uh, are you expecting yourself to go to the uh, foreign minister's meeting at Geneva? Not uh, without being asked to come. You see, I wouldn't like the situation of sitting around and waiting for an invitation mm. to some table or another. I think a, a one of the Berlin officials will be with the, the official German mm. delegation in Geneva, and he will report on things which uh, have something to do with the problems of our city. If the uh, foreign ministers should decide that they would uh, uh, ask questions, then of course the mayor of Berlin would be there. Well, now let me ask you, the, on behalf of the people of Britain, the $64 question, uh, what would you like yourself uh, to emerge, so far as Berlin is concerned, from the uh, foreign minister's conference or the summit conference? Well. I would, of course, uh, like some progress made in the direction of the solution of the German problem, mm. because what's good for Germany is good for Berlin, too. Mm. The Berlin just reproduces the split of, uh, of Germany. It isn't the cause, but a consequence, a symptom of the trouble. But if the powers cannot agree upon any considerable progress in the direction of the solution of the German problem, then I'm opposed to any unilateral change of conditions in Berlin. By other words, then I would ask our uh, friends in the Western world to um, just uh, take care of the rights and obligations they have taken over in Berlin. Certain things perhaps could be discussed once more with the Russians, but I think the basic responsibilities should not be changed. And first of all, there should be no interruption of the legal and especially financial and economic relations between West Berlin and Western Germany. So one might say that the optimum uh, result would be uh, a solution of the German problem, which automatically would solve the Berlin problem, That's true. and the uh, minimum result, at any rate, would be to ensure the security uh, and the freedom of West Berlin. That's true. Sir. Good. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the press, I would first of all say how grateful I am that the uh, British government have been kind enough to invite me to London at this moment. I'm looking forward to see the um, Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary. I saw the leader of, of the opposition already on the way to London. We came together from Stockholm from a conference we had there. And um, the second thing I would like to say is this. In my city, there is a strong feeling of thankfulness, especially in these days, for the very reason that within a few weeks, 10 years will have gone since that other crisis around Berlin, which was called the blockade of Berlin. And every Berliner remembers that Great Britain took part in that crisis and in the airlifts to a much higher degree, took a very heavy burden upon uh, their shoulders, much more than people remember today in various parts of the world. 
and um, a um, great number of uh, British airmen became the victims of that crisis and their support to a weaponless population threatened by the weapon of starvation. And uh, as I said, we remember that very well. We haven't forgot it, we will never forget it. And we remember as well that during the years following 1949, the end of the blockade, our British friends, together with their American and French allies, constructed a shelter over the city of West Berlin, under which we were able to transform a desert of rubble and ruins into what now again is a rather flourishing center of economic and cultural activities. So I think I could say based upon these experiences, there is a, a strong feeling of confidence, self-confidence, but especially also confidence in the position taken by our friends abroad. There's a basic feeling after these five months of the New Berlin crisis that we will get through this crisis. I think I should limit my remarks to this, perhaps just add that uh, there hasn't been one single day with signs of panic in Berlin. We have uh, gone on with our normal work, our economic reconstruction, and the greatest wish my fellow, fellow citizens have is to be able to go on with their work of reconstruction without being disturbed by artificial crises provoked on the background of world political tensions. I'm um, looking forward to uh, the discussions, the meetings I'll have here in London and I think they'll be interesting and perhaps even an encouragement for the mayor of Free Berlin. Right here, well then. Sorry, hello. I think uh, is, is a question which, uh, well, let me put it this way, uh, uh, one has to answer so many questions on various things which just don't come under the competence of, uh, of uh, let's say, a mayor of Berlin. I can only say this, that um, we didn't only feel very sorry about the illness of uh, John Foster Dulles, but we regarded him, and of course still regard him, as a very great friend of Berlin and the freedom of Berlin. I didn't uh, meet uh, Mr. Herder when I was in uh, Washington a few uh, weeks ago, but I met him last year and I have full confidence in the choice made by the President of the United States and I think we'll have uh, good connections and a good cooperation together with him. One further thing uh, which is nearer to the Burgomaster of Berlin, how do you feel about the resignation from the Chancellorship of Dr. Adenauer? Well, sir, I think for, uh, uh, on the part of the majority party in Germany, it was not only an understandable, but perhaps even a wise step, because as the Chancellor himself has pointed out, it um, could make it easier to, um, uh, to have a continu continuation. Continuity. Continuity, of, uh, excuse me, uh, as far as the political leadership in West Germany is concerned. This from the point of view of the majority party, um, for all the others, it's only to hope that the decision made also will be to the best of the people and to the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any more confidence?